Hey there guys, it's me the Don Fanatic and welcome to week 3 of the Pokemon Premier League. Uh, today in Division 1, um, we are playing against Jolt, also known as the Token Minorities, and he is in charge of the Toronto Staraptors. Um, he is currently 2-0, obviously we are 1-1 after our victory against Paul last week. Um, Kartana clutching it out, as it should. Um, and today, um, I'm going to give you a little warning. Look at Jolt's team. Tell me how fat it is, and then cry, because, spoilers, this game went to timer. Now, no timer stall was involved, however, maybe standard stall was involved. So, if stall isn't your thing, you should probably skip to the end, find out who won, and, uh, yeah, be done with the video. I have tried to speed it up as much as possible, try and make it enjoyable. Not to the point where, you know, it's just too quick where I can't say anything, but chances are I'm going to... One, I haven't really watched this over since I've had this battle because this was about three days ago. Um, there's 84 turns, so there's lots for me to try and remember, and a lot of it is going to be wish and protecting. Um, I'll go over my team and Jolt's team very quickly. Um, I've got the Electrium Z uh, Electivire because Electrium Z Thunderbolt will kill any kind of Mega Slowbro. Um, or I think it's a roll at least of its max special defense, and none of his team really appreciates it, because especially he didn't bring Diggersby, which I was so happy about. If he'd have bought it, he may have potentially, you know, just, you know, well, just swept through me. That thing was so scary. Um, Life Orb Katana, because it hits his defensive core for so much damage. Steelix mainly for rocks, and I say to be a switch into Talonflame, obviously it's not. Uh, Grudra is sub three attacks again, different three attacks than last week. We've got the Choice Scarf and Infernape, because once Burb um, has Gale Wings broken uh, after the Gale Wings nerf, uh, it pretty much outspeeds his whole team other than Thunderous, which again he didn't bring, so I do outspeed his whole team. Uh, unless he has Scarf Burb, obviously. And then we have Bulky Necrozma, which was kind of my best answer to Diggersby, but again, Life Orb Diggersby, Adamant, does like 70% with return, which is gross. Um, and I don't even need to say much about Jolt's team, to be honest. If you look at his team, his six, hit on top, uh, Clefable, Ordino, Mega Slowbro, Talonflame, and Registeel. That's disgusting. Um, I'm surprised I didn't actually realize at the team select screen. Uh, I was more overly shocked by the fact that he didn't actually have diggers be with him to actually realize he bought stall and then after the first two turns you know he'd use protect and wish and I'm like okay so this thing's got wish protect Ordino can get wish protect it's got regenerator Slowbro has regenerator this is gonna be disgusting so luckily for me Electivire and Infernape are a very good offensive you know pairing against Jolt team um, however maybe you know the choice scarf Infernape isn't gonna be the best in this case but you know what? I had to make use of what I have Obviously, I predict the Slowbro U-turn, and uh, sorry, click the Slowbro switch in and click U-turn, and I have a free switch back into my Electivire. He doesn't have a ground type, but he has got Diggler and Diggersby on his draft, of which neither he has, so I'm just going to click Thunderbolt because something's got to come in and take it, and as you can see, Ordino comes in and does more than take it, choose it. Um, I do have the Focus Blast, you know, at this point I was, uh, I think Jolt said he expected me to be Expert Belt, obviously based on the fact I can swap up moves, which I've already revealed. Um, that's good damage. He can protect here to get some leftovers, um, which is fine. I click Volt Switch because he's either going to protect or he's going to switch to get the Regenerator and I can get the momentum. Um, but obviously I now know that he's probably going to switch out. I'm going to click Thunderbolt just to get as much damage off on something as I can. I'm keeping the Gigavolt Havoc because I know it will do 41 to 48% to Clefable, Spadef. And I'm pretty confident at this point that this thing is Spadef and Clefable is, uh, not sorry Clefable. Or Dino is physically defensive, so... Obviously at this point I know Gigavolt Havoc will kill the Clefable, but as we've seen it has Protect, he clicked it turn 1, which I'm rather grateful for because if I hadn't have seen it I may have potentially gone for the Gigavolt Havoc that turn to kill this thing off. Um, but as you'll see, it's a recurring theme where Clefable doesn't die. Um, I don't want to like really stay in on this thing because while I could probably take Moonblast okay, I can't do too much damage in return. So I'm going to go into Necrozma, potentially scare him out. I I've seen at this point, actually I haven't seen at this point, still don't know if he's Magic Guard or unaware at this point. I haven't got any mods of any boosting, you know, stat boosting moves this week, purely because I was thinking, obviously, the Unaware Club Fable is there. I've got a few mods that I can set up, so it's probably something you'd want to bring. Uh, Steelix is pretty much a free switch in, uh, when he has Registeel on the field. And obviously, I'm going to want to try and get my Stealth Rocks up um, as soon as possible because it does limit the Talon Flames. Um, what's it called? Gale Wings. And uh, it also means it's something that doesn't check Kartana because it's the only thing on his team that really stops it. 
Obviously, this thing kind of checks it with the Intimidate and the Mac Punch, but even then, Kartana's pretty bulky on the physical side, and if this thing's max defense, Mac Punch is not going to be very strong. Um, he does reveal the Mac Punch, obviously, here. Uh, and, you know, Necrozma seems to be pretty much the perfect switch into this thing. Um, he can't stay in against me. He needs to be able to rapid spin away rocks later on. Uh, and he brings in Registeel, which has actually got the Sugar Berry. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the Sugar Berry was actually for. Um, thinking about my team, that I... No, the only ground type I have is... And I have Gastrodon, actually. Gastrodon and Steelix, of which, you know... I, I don't really think that the Stab is going to be doing too much anyway, because they're defensive mons, so... Um, I do stay in and click Earthquake again, which probably in hindsight was the wrong play. I should have gone to Steelix, um, taken up that Toxic, and now Necrozma is on a timer. However, he doesn't have Bun uh, Diggersby, so I'm not too bothered um, by this thing being Toxic. This is the first week I've actually bought a defensive Necrozma set. I've obviously got Moonlight on it, um, so I can heal myself up. Now, this Clefable is in doing Clefable things again. He's going to click Wish. Why wouldn't he? Uh, he can take any one hit unless I get a critical hit. Um, so I'm going to bring Gudra. Obviously, bringing Gudra in on a fairy is a, a bit weird, but he doesn't... Well, you can see I'm leftovers, so he should really know at this point that Sludge Wave isn't going to kill. However, if I do get the poison, or if I do get the crit, then there's the chance um, I could kill this thing. So he clicks Protect, I click Substitute, predicting him to click the Protect. Um, a bit of a weird sort of exchange at this point. Um, I know I can only free it KO him. Uh, I've seen that he's unaware now, I believe. Uh, spoilers, if I haven't shown it yet, or haven't figured it out yet, uh, he is actually unaware. So, after rocks, uh, I still don't think Sludge Wave is even a free... No, not even two hit KO. It's a free hit KO. So, I'm really wanting just to get some kind of hacks onto this thing. I click Fire Blast here, obviously expecting the Reggie Steel to come in. Um, but he does just click the Moon Blast, which is fine, because I've pretty much recovered all the health, which I lost by clicking Substitute. Um, but Iskle Fable is back up to, after leftovers, around 90%, and I'm at about 85 to 90% myself. So... Kind of going nowhere at this rate. Uh, I'm going to click Sludge Wave again, because if he clicks Moonblast, he dies in the next turn. If he clicks Wish, he's going to click Protect. Um, I can try and play around this. Now, there is a lot of mind games, and this Clefable versus Gudra is something that goes on for a little while. Um, I did give you a warning, guys. I am sorry that it's so stally, but again, you see the Wish and Protect on the Clefable. I'm going to click Sludge Wave, because if he doesn't click Protect there, he dies to a Sludge Wave, potentially, and killing Clefable is obviously going to be uh, amazing for this game, because as you can already tell, his core was pretty much his whole team. And as soon as I can get rid of one bit of this core on his team, the rest of it will drop. It's just I need something to drop first. So you just stay in and click the Moonblast. It doesn't do half. It does nearly half. Luckily, he doesn't get the special attack drop. So obviously, he's now going to be fish uh, fished, forced to go for the Wish. I'm putting Wish and Force together uh, on this turn. I'm going to get the Sludge Wave. It looks like I get like a max roll. Um, it, a huge damage. Um, but it's obviously going to live and I don't get the poison. If I'd have got the poison sooner, um, this could have potentially obviously helped. I say sooner, if I get it at all. Um, I'm going to bring in my uh, Steelix at this point, because it's just kind of like we're not getting anywhere. Um, and I I just want this thing, you know, poisoned. I have Toxic on this, Toxic on the Crosma, because I thought it's the best thing to do with Mega Slowbro. Uh, obviously, I have got Kartana and Electivire as well, but he was kind of forced to bring it, because Infernape's a thing. Um, in comes the Talonflame. Uh, before this, as I said briefly before the game started, this was my only really an like answer other than Necrozma to Talonflame, so I was happy to stay in uh, and click Toxic, because that way if I got it Toxic, uh, it wouldn't be possible for him to have Gale Wings ever, because obviously he'd be poisoned and constantly lose health. Uh, here I predict him to go for the Rapid Spin, I'm going to put Stealth Rocks up again. I'm happy, as soon as, as long as this thing's in, I mean, I I'm pretty sure his only move to hit me is Mac Punch. Uh, he might have the Knock Off as well, but it's just leftovers, so um, I am back to Sturdy which is uh, quite handy. I mean, to me, it doesn't actually really like he has money things. For Steelix, I think he said to me afterwards that he didn't really expect me to bring it. Um, as you see here, I mean, again, I'm leaving Steelix in to just kind of, like, die or potentially take hits, but as it's Mega Slowbro, I outspeed, first of all, and get the Toxic off, which is fantastic. Um, and secondly, it turns out this Mega Slowbro, I think, doesn't have Scald. Um, so I don't wall this thing. Um, I'm not especially defensive. I'm fully invested in defense. So that's Psychic. I actually take it pretty well, considering I'm not invested, so quite happy with that. I'm um, going to bring in Gudra, because if he's got Psychic and Scald, then, you know, I just kind of take this thing on really well. Uh, he can slack off all he wants against my Gudra. Um, to be honest, I probably won't do much damage. Dragon Pulse is my best move to hit it. He'll probably realize this and go into Clefable, which he doesn't do. He actually goes into Ordino, which is kind of cool. Um, but I click Sub. 
I kind of had to. I knew good uh, that this Slowbro would be doing too much to me. Um, and if I click sub, I can try and stall out the Trick Room. So that was my thinking behind that. Now he's going to go for the Wish. And I'm just like, oh, come on, man. How many more Wishes have you got? And uh, as you can see, Dragon Pulse isn't even going to be a 2-hit KO. Um, which is a shame. Because if it was, it would have prevented him. I'm pretty sure he's going to go for a Heal Bell on this next turn. No, he gets a Flamethrower. So it reveals his only attacking move, I actually think I found out during the game. He's got Wish Protect. Um, toxic and flamethrower. So Gudra literally walls this thing when I'm behind a sub. And it's really quite good because it lets me get all this leftovers recovery. He can't really touch me. If he clicks toxic and I click sub, then you know it's a free sub. So um, I'm actually pretty sure this exchange here, you see Gudra, I was at less than half HP. Um, and I, when I set my sub up, I actually think over this sort of next few turns, I managed to get all the way back to max health while he just wishes up and tries to storm me out of attacks on Gudra. Because while Gudra isn't really killing anything on his team it is you know just hitting the odd thing with damage which is really nice because it, it is teeing me up for the late game you know let's just hit hard with Kartana but Talonflame is still there my game plan was to try and get rid of Talonflame as soon as possible because that's when Infernape and um, Kartana can do the real work so as you can see I I'm still I'm not going to swap out when I'm behind a free sub and gaining all this HP back I'm willing to sit here and stall out this Ordino um, to be fair it obviously outstall me uh, with all the wishes and protects. Uh, but he does actually decide to switch at this point and he goes into Clefable. And it's just like we're repeating ourselves over and over again. Again, I predicted the Registeel switching, which he didn't do. Um, but I missed the Fire Blast, which is a, a shame. I mean, it wouldn't have really mattered at all because Clefable would have still got to max HP again. Um, but actually, that done. Was that over half? So he wasn't fully specially defensive in that case. Um, so I did do over half, obviously, after leftovers. The chances of me killing this Clefable again. Pretty slim, and again, I don't get any kind of poison with the Sludge Wave. I know it's only 10%, but the poison would have been nice. And he just clicked Protect to get the leftover, which guarantees he can live a Sludge Wave. Um, obviously, he knows his Clefable set. I still don't know it to this day, but um, he's just kind of let me sit behind the sub. And as you can see, my HP is nearly back to full. Um, bearing in mind, when I clicked Substitute, I was at less than half, or I went to less than half. So it kind of, you know, shows how long... This game kind of went on for. He just clicked the wish. Obviously, he's going to click the protect. Um, I'm going to just click Sludge Wave because every time, or the Fire Blast, because again, I'm expecting him to go into the Richie Steel. Um, I don't know why because Clefable is so important to him. Fire Blast would have probably killed at that point anyway if I'd have hit. Um, and Clefable's back again to about 80%. And it's it's just so demoralizing facing this Clefable. Or, you know, during that time, I was like, something's going to have to drop soon. I'm back to full health. I'm just going to have to keep clicking Sludge Wave, and you know, I'm really expecting him to go into Steelix at some point. So at this point, I, I think he only has Moon Blast, he hasn't revealed Flamethrower. I'm sure he'd have revealed it on this thing by now. Um, so I do bring in the Kartana. Now, um, I, do I have Stealth Rocks up at this point? I cannot remember. Uh, he does bring in the, the um, Talonflame, I do obviously have Stealth Rocks up, and I go for the Smart Strike. And it's, it does a decent amount of damage. Um, I believe this is defensive with Bulk Up. Um, or Sword Stance. I know it's a setup of some sort. I think this and Slowbro is like more offensive things, if you can call them offensive, but they were still bulky. So I'm going to bring in Necrozma, um, because he doesn't have as much of a switch into this thing as he does Steelix. Um, so I can click Psychic, um, I can click Toxic. Again, I wanted to try and get this thing Toxic so it couldn't have Gale Wings. Um, in comes the Ordino, and I click Psychic because I just want damage. No special defense drop, unfortunately. Um, and this Ordino is just kind of sitting here, you know, at two thirds of its health, and I'm just still sitting here like, how am I going to break this down? Uh, I need some kind of, you know, kill on something. And I now know this thing's only attacking move is uh, Flamethrower. I think this is where I find out its last move is Toxic. So I now know Infernape is pretty much a free switch in on Ordino. Um, now I know I'm Scarfed, and I know he has Protect, so I'm more than willing to lock myself into close combat. Um, obviously that way it'll force him out and then I can play around that. His most likely switch is going to be his Clefable. And obviously if he's a real man he could stay in a click plane for it, expecting me to go out into Har Kartana. So I make the middle ground play and I go out into uh, the, uh, what's it called, Electivire obviously because he could have gone into Slowbro as well, which he does. Um, so I kind of play around that. Um, so I get a free Volt Switch. I can't remember if that's actually what I do. I do click Volt Switch. 
Um, and I'm now starting to get a bit more momentum. So I obviously got that momentum at the start of the game where I was clicking Volt Switch and U-Turn a lot. Um, I do have Sacred Sword on this thing. Now I don't actually know, I haven't calced it. I wouldn't actually know if it would have killed at this point, but I am Life Orb, Max Attack. So he does go for the Protect, and my screen has gone to sleep. That's how long this battle is. Um, he does protect himself, and he's not going to want to stay in for the Secret Sword, or Sacred Sword, sorry. So he does actually switch. Um, he goes into hashtag lose weight, the uh, slow bro. Uh, if I'd have only guessed, you know, um, with the leaf blade there and killed this thing, that would have been so nice. But he is just kind of trying to wear me out with my life orb and with the uh, uh, rocky helmet, which he actually has on this thing. Um, leaf blade is enough to kill, even though it's quad resisted, because I am a Kartana. And there you go, Talon Flame drops. Now, it's a shame that Kartana's this week, because obviously his main check is gone. Um, and now he's obviously got this thing with the Mac Punch as well. He also has Rocky Helmet on this thing, spoilers, so Kartana can't really do too much to this, but he's down 6-5, so he's on the back foot now, which is excellent. He's playing a really bulky, fat game, and uh, when you start to lose with that, it's quite hard to bring it back when you can't hit things hard. So I'm in with Necrozma against him on top. This is the freest of Moonlights I think you'll ever see. Um, I'm going to click that because obviously I don't want to, to lose this thing because it actually turns out to be pretty useful this game. Um, so I'm back to full health, obviously not after the Toxic, that is going to do a little bit of damage. Um, so we're still at about 90%, which is awesome. I gave the Toxic, and of course this game is obviously loving the Clef or Dino Core, because one, he gets the special attack drop, so obviously I can't do much for Psychic, and two, I missed the Toxic, so... I mean, I don't know if he's revealed uh, Heal Bell at this point, but he does have Heal Bell on this... I think it might be the CS Heal Bell on, actually. Yeah, it must be, because Ordino doesn't have it. Um, and obviously he only has Moonblast, so I can get a free switch into my Steelix. It's not going to do much damage at all. And obviously I can threaten him out with a Heavy Slam. Um, Mega Slowbro is very weak at this point, so obviously if he wants to stay in. Or so if he wants to switch that thing in, that's fine. I'll click Toxic on it when he slacks off. Um, but in comes the Ordino. Uh, I do go for the Toxic actually, because I was expecting the Slowbro to come in. But obviously Ordino is fine as well. Um, I didn't really click on until later in the battle. He had Regenerator. I was thinking he could have... Natural Cure, but I don't even know if this thing gets Natural Cure. I think it's Healer which it gets, which is terrible, but... You know, Regenerator on this thing is really annoying. He does have Flame for it. It does decent damage, actually. But I'm going to decide to keep Steelix because, you know... It can kind of do something against Clefable. I believe I can live one Moonblast now after Leftovers. So I'm deciding we're going to keep this thing alive. Uh, I can pretty much bring in Necrozma or Infernape. Or even the Electivire. Or Gudra, because I know his only attacking move is Flame for it. And he does click Toxic, unfortunately. If I'd have gone into Gudra there, I'm not Gudra, sorry. I'm just all over the place because this battle's just got so many things going on. If I'd have gone into Necrozma, predicted the Toxic, that would have been excellent. Uh, it would have just been more Toxic damage on this Ordino, which is starting to rack up a bit now because it's been a few turns since I've done it. So, uh, Gudra's in. Uh, I could substitute here. Is it what I do? I can't actually remember. Um, I am just going to Dragon Pulse, actually. I'm pretty sure this thing's physically defensive. Um, I'm going to click Fire Blast because... You know, if I can get this thing dead, I mean, I don't care about Gudra anymore. It's obviously not working against the Clefable. Um, I'm going to click Fire Blast. I don't actually think it... No, it does just kill, which is excellent. Um, so that Registeel goes down. So it's now 6-4. Um, a lot of my team is worn down and poisoned, um, which is obviously his game plan with this kind of bulky team. Uh, and in comes the Clefable. I'm just going to click Sludge Wave until I die. I don't even care if he Wish Protects. I just want Gudra to die so I can try and get his free switch into something as possible. That Sludge Wave does a lot of damage. Obviously, he's going to click Protect on this next turn. Um, I can't remember if I actually play around this and switch back into Kartana. But I do know that Kartana is my pretty much only sure way of killing this thing at this point. So I didn't really want to risk it, especially with Hitmon top around. Um, because, like I said, it has Rocky Helmet. I don't think he's revealed it at this point, but he has got Rocky Helmet. Um, so after, I think, two more Toxic turns, and obviously a turn of this thing potentially attacking me, no, after one more Toxic, I will die. Um, I'm going to click Sludge Wave. He's going to click the Wish, I would assume. He doesn't need... Oh, no, he clicks Heal Bell, actually, which is awesome. Um, I say awesome. It's not awesome. Obviously, it gets rid of the poison on the Mega Slowbro and the Ordino. Um, but, you know, now, well, Sludge Wave, Sludge Wave would have had a chance of killing at this point. Um, whether it would have, I don't know. Obviously, I now get a free switch into my Kartana, which is, what you know, one of the main best things I could have, because um, something on his team is pretty much guaranteed to die at this point. Um, obviously, I'm 5-4 up with the Gudra. Um, at this point, I think we've only got like 15 minutes in game time left. I'm going to click Leaf Blade because it was the best thing I had at this point. Um, I died to the Rocky Helmet though, which is a shame. Um, so now I literally just have to try and uh, 
just hit like the Clefable as hard as I can. He does go for the Mac Punch. I go into Electrify, click Thunderbolt. He doesn't have a switch in, apart from Ordino, which kind of is, but there's no point in keeping him on top around now. Um, there you can see, obviously, that uh, he is unaware. Here I was kind of expecting to click Protect. I really should have not clicked the Z-Move, because if I just click Thunderbolt this turn, um, and then I'd click Gigabolt Havoc, I think potentially it may have killed. Um, I think it was 41% min roll. Um, as you can see, through Protect, it still does a quarter of the damage, so I think maybe with that, it could have potentially killed if I'd have not clicked uh, the Gigabolt Havoc that turn and clicked it this turn where I clicked Volt Switch. Uh, I ain't going to click Volt Switch though because uh, this thing can't really stay in against Steelix. I'm going to get more Leftovers Recovery, which pretty much guarantees me to live a Moonblast unless he gets a crit. Um, which would be less than ideal, but Heavy Slam at this point is awesome. Um, I do know that, well, I'm, I'm of the opinion at this point that Slowbro can't touch me. I'm just going to click the Toxic. If I had Raw, that would have been kind of nice, um, because this thing wouldn't have got the Wish. Um, but Toxic is just as good. I'm pretty confident he's going to want to try and actually Trick Room. Uh, maybe try and slack off this turn and just click, trim, uh, click Trick Room after that. So I'm just going to keep clicking Earthquake, because um, it's going to do some kind of damage, and with the Poison... Um, it is going to actually start racking up a lot and do a lot more than he can do to me. Because like I said, all he has is Psychic, I believe, to actually touch me. I don't actually know if I find out what his fourth move is. Uh, slack off Psychic, Trick Room. If it is scored, he didn't ever use it against my Steelix, which is interesting. Um, he might have obviously not bought it because Gastrodon kind of just walls it. Um, but I don't know what other move he could have. Maybe Shadow Ball? Maybe? I don't know, but he just clicked the Psychic here, and I'm already over half, so I can take two of those, I believe, with uh, the Leftovers, um, or at least make it a roll. The Poison and the Earthquake at this point, like I said, um, really racking up, uh, and this thing's going to die to one more Toxic turn, so I'm going to keep, uh, keep Steelix, because Clefable is still around. Necrozma is probably one of the most, you know, sackable things I have on my team, so I'm just going to switch it in here. Um, this Slowbro is going to die to Poison. And I believe Necrozma is obviously going to live, so it's a free Psychic on either the Clefable or the uh, or Dino. Now, I, he might have, I think he has Trick Room up. He must have one more turn of Trick Room at least. Um, he does... Actually, no, I switch. I keep Necrozma alive. Um, and I go into Infernape because I do know that this thing um, only has Flamethrower as an attacking move. And the Flamethrower and Poison... Um, I think he's actually going to protect this next turn, which is maybe his own downfall a bit. Um, because the poison, I believe, after the next turn will put me in blaze range. I, not, I lock myself into Flare Blitz because he only has this and Clefable left. No point in me clicking uh, close combat. As you can see, I now get put into blaze range by the poison. And uh, this Flare Blitz uh, is just going to absolutely decimate Ordino. So it would have been nice if I could have done that earlier in the match. But hey, I got rid of it. And now all he has left is the Clefable. And I actually think we're at the end of the battle, which is amazing. So sorry if I've rambled on a lot and made no sense, and I, I know I've made so many mistakes, but I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing a second take. I win! I beat Jolt um, with, the, like, the stalliest team I've ever faced in League format. Um, I did talk to him about this after the game, because, in my opinion, all he had to do was bring Diggersby, um, and he kind of won, which was true, and he agreed with me. Um, However, my team matchup against his defensive or against like his defensive core was so gross. He just had to bring all defense. I, think, I can't remember what he said. It was he said to me something on on Discord afterwards. It was like you know oh, I had to bring this because I had to bring Talonflame. I had to bring Hit on top for Hazard removal. And because I had to bring Hit on top, and obviously you know, Crosmo was then looking threatening at this point. I had to bring Mega Slowbro, and obviously a Kartana and Electivire. And, you know, he had all these reasons to bring all his defensive mons where he couldn't fit offense on there. So, you know what? The fact he bought Stall doesn't even bother me. I actually really enjoyed that game, contrary to what people, you know, think about Stall. I'm not against, uh, you know, I'm not for Stall, but, you know, when it was, I say fun, um, when it was kind of like on edge, you know, it was never one-sided. Um, it was always very close as to what was going to happen. And I think just because I drew first blood, it kind of put the momentum in my favor. So... Really good game, Joel. Go make sure you check out his uh, Twitter, uh, Token Minorities, and obviously the YouTube channel, also of the same name. All the PPL links are below for the shop, uh, Twitter, Discord, etc. Uh, next week is going to be excellent. Um, me versus the one and only Shardy, manager of the Bayern Munich. Um, it's going to be a great game. We've both got a lot to fight on. Obviously, we fight for. I'm 2 and 1 now, um, so why not try and go for something? Uh, a high place finish this season. Um, 
I've rambled on. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I'm sorry that it was as stall as it was, um, and as long as it was, but hopefully next week against Shardy, that won't be the same. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.